All right, so I got a saxophone read here, and um, a lot of people want to know how to um, break in your reads. A lot of people do a lot of different stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm to read and I'm going to play on it, and then I'm going to work on it. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to it. And uh, from there, we're going to, um, I'm going to teach you how to make the new reed work, you know. I like to use plastic cover reeds, but this one will allow us to do something else. Get my fingers kind of dirty. I've been, I've been working in potting soil, so y'all don't judge me. Here we go. Jason Davis, Jason Davis, Jazz. what's up, y'all? My hands dirty. I've been working in potting soil. Uh, Planting some basil and some lemongrass to uh, for culinary purposes. So uh, this is a reed. It's a um, Mandarin two and a half. Mandarin two and a half red box. And I'm putting it on my mouthpiece. Theo uh, one Durga number nine. Uh, the Durga two. I'm just going to show you how it sounds fresh out the box. Out of the box or whatever, right? So, here's what we want to do to make this read pop. I'm going to lay it down on here. Okay, so. They say don't mess with this part of the read right here. Right? The heart of the read. But I'm going to put three little dots on here. One here. One here. And one. Trying to line it up over here. So, a dot, a dot, and a dot. If you had a knife, that's what you do. But I'm using the little um, tool that comes with my mouthpiece. It's just a little Allen wrench. There's nothing sharp about it, nothing special about it. It's just a little screwdriver that comes with the Theo Wayne mouthpiece. Uh, it's always in my case because I use it to adjust my ligature. Okay? So um, it's just you can use whatever. You can use an emery board. You can use a fingernail file, whatever you want to do. I have a sanding stone, but I'm not going to use it. Right now, because I don't really want to take anything off the read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press a little hole there. Twist the screwdriver just a little bit. And it just puts a little, let me find the camera. It puts just a little indention. You can't really see it. But it puts a little indenture in there, right? It's a little crease. Let me turn the light on. I see right now I need more light. Cut the light on. Hold on. A little more light, y'all. So, you can see. Oh, man, my battery getting low. I hope it don't cut off. Yeah, you can see it now. It's a little, little dot there, okay? I'm going to do three of those. One there. And one there. So, really what this is, it's a way of breaking the reading, okay? So, we got three little indentions, okay? Then... Not in this order, in no, in no certain order. I'm just going to tighten that one up. I'm going to come here to, to this part of the read. 
If I had a, a file, I would file me just a little circle here. Okay. Not up at the tip, not even close up there, but often here where it's a little bit of meat. Okay. So let me do that. So with a, uh, but you know, with a file or something, then you got, you know, you can really get, it'll really be effective, but I just want to break the read in. So I'm just drawing a circle and the circle can be very, very uh, small, not like, um, not like I would say, um, and you don't want to dig until you, you're getting into the back of the read. But you just want to put a little bit of a light low. Let me see. Which is hard to see, but you want to put just a little circle there. And for me, I like to get back into that little steeple of the reed and make that circle get off in there. That's what we want to do. Then you want to leave all this back here alone. Don't mess with that ever. But below that down here, you want to just flatten that out. So I'm going to try to hold the camera here so you can kind of see me flattening that out, okay? So here's what I want to do. Take the reed, get around the back of it, and just begin to flatten that with, and you would be doing this with sandpaper, basically. Some real light sandpaper, not with one of these screwdrivers, but I'm sure somebody's going to see this video, and it's going to create a screwdriver that has uh, an emery board on it. That's an Allen wrench, and if Anybody from Theo One is watching it'd be a good idea to make one of those. Put a little bit of um and that's all I'm doing. I'm sorry I didn't get back on the camera. So I'm just flattening that out. And I'm just turning it on the side back there. And I'm just flattening that. And I'll tell you what all this is doing later. I'm just kind of showing you the process. So you're flattening that, right? And then you can kind of come here across the whole read and just one little boom, 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 boom. You flatten in the bottom. Then across the sides, um, right here, on the uh, on the rail of the reed, going up like that, and on this opposite side, you wanna let me hold the camera different. Take the reed and you want to kind of just um, just file a little bit of that. I'm trying to hold it where you can see what I'm doing. I need to hold it read down. Let me see. Yeah, just a little bit like this. Just flatten that little, not too much, and stay away from the tip and do it on both sides. So I'll turn the read around and do it this way, right? Just a little bit of file in there. I hope you're getting that. Just to flatten that out. And like I said, if you did it with, uh, sandpaper or emery board it would be totally totally way more effective but i'm doing it with the screwdriver because sometimes and i don't do this all the time this is just something i learned that i'm just sharing with you so um i hold this up here so what's happening is is that just taking your hands and kind of boom boom Doing that, rubbing the very back of the reed on the palm of your hand, right? Just rubbing it on there. You get a little, you know, oil or soil. <laughs> I've been potting soil, so. so you get a little oil on there. Kind of take the reed and do it like this. Just shake it away from the tip. So you're kind of bending it a little bit. And I heard something about somebody getting a lighter and coming across there with a lighter, uh, kind of, you know, doing that. So you can do all that. So let me turn the camera back around for a minute. Jason Davis, Jason Davis Jazz, y'all. JasonDavisJazz.com. I'm going to do a video here coming up on uh, the Altissimo. I might do that today. This is the same breed. I haven't soaked it in anything. It's fresh out the box. There are some things that I've found that you can do with soaking reeds, and I'll tell you about that. Hopefully, if this little experiment comes out well. Here we go.
It's pop. It's a lot easier to blow. And um uh, let's see. So that's that's it. I mean, I could talk a little more about what it does, and I will. The filing that we did here initially is just initial break in of the read. Um, it deals with a certain set of the frequencies uh, in the in the tone, and it allows the read to it co actually confuses the wood and allows the read to break a little more freely because it feels like it's been broken in, but not necessarily up here. When we filed up here. What we got was we got um the low end of the horn popping. The um I guess what you would call the uh like C and all that filing there allows that to pop. When we came across the sides and the edges here, we were dealing with a whole nother set of the range of the saxophone. Um so every piece deals with a different range. And I'm not a scientist on what parts are being affected. I'm not to read, right? But what's happening when you're, when you're, you know, coming across the back, filing, I think you should flatten that, come across the back with, a, you know, across the sandpaper or whatever, or the, or the emery board or the stone, you know. I have a sanding stone that I used to keep in my case. But once you do that, you're actually sealing up the pores in the reed and you're sealing up all the moisture that is in the reed. So it's not, you know, it's not trying to find its way through through this hard part of your reed. It's, it's bamboo, the pores, you know, are aligned. So um, that's just a little little tip for you. Um, I'm sitting there practicing out the hymn book uh, and uh, was just trying out reads. And I've, I've broken in like one, two, three. Uh, this is the fourth read I've broken in. And if I wanted to soak my reads or whatever, I get into this kind of thing, like with a, uh, a Q-tip box or something where I would, um, you know, I would put them in in um, some kind of Listerine antiseptic. If I went to save these reeds and keep them for a long time, I would soak them in that, some water, like a little bit of antiseptic because that keeps them from getting black and, you know, doing the whole molding thing. Uh, Listerine stops your reeds from molding. But, yeah, I put them in there. I'm not trying to keep them I usually put on plastic coated reeds. It's a Barry Sachs reed that I play on, so... I used to play on those, and I don't have to go through read work and stuff. But I made this video for anybody who is uh, interested in uh, that concept, and that's something that I adapted from different people. You know, watching uh, different people talk and some stuff here on on the internet. So check it out, Jason Davis Jazz. Hope this helped. Peace out.